Hello everyone, welcome to Card King. I'm Archul PK and this is the placement series. So today we will be talking about I am Kashipu placement reports, wherein uh, wherein the final placement report process for 2021 batch. Now this is the flagship program which saw 127 organization making 268 offers to the class of 260 students for I am Kashipu, which were eligible for placements. Now, even during this times like COVID pandemic, the highest salary offered at I am Kashipu went up to 29 lakhs per annum. Now, here are here were the, some of the key highlights of the I am Kashipu placement code. Let's just get into the video and see what exactly the detailed placement process looks like, what exactly is the scenario of placements at I am Kashpur. Uh, it is very important if you're, you know, aiming for some of the colleges to know what exactly the scenario of placement is going on over there because that's it's one of the most important factor to consider while taking admission at some of the colleges. Okay, so let's just get into the video and see the statistics uh, of the placement season. Now, as mentioned, 260 were the number of students eligible for placement. Now, number of companies that visited I am Kashi was 127. The average CTC was 114.05. The median was 12.72 lakh per annum and the highest was 29.09 lakh per annum. Wherein top 10% of the batch got 26.05 lakhs per annum uh, as their average package. Now, this placement process at Am Kashpur for the MBA students of saw you know 127 recruiters were actually recruiting. Uh, we will see which of the companies visited, which were the new companies, which old companies repeated in this colleges. Now BFSI uh, stood out as the largest recruiter uh, for the class uh, with you know 21% of the badge uh, getting placed at this sector. So this was the statistics. Let's just see uh, what is the highlight of the season. Now you know 39% of the badge got increase in their PPO and PPIs. 32% of the badge uh, saw increase in number of participating in the companies, 40 plus with the new recruiters. And this uh, fourth, uh, they got fourth position uh, on the DE2C platform for the most competitive B schools. Now, this was the pl uh, final placement reports, highlights in the sector-wise placement. Now, uh, let's just see which sector ranked where. Now, BFSI got 21% uh, of the category. ID services uh, got 19%. Analytical and consulting got 12%. Whereas in ID got 10%. Sector-wise placement for the 2019-21 batch and uh, manufacturing and research, advertise, uh, research and adversary got 4%. Uh, the batch pointers, the what was you know background education background of the bad present who just got placed in so many of the companies uh so 26 percent uh were from electrical and communication and power background wherein 21 percent were from mechanical and automobile 17 percent was from computer science and 11 percent was from finance commerce and economics uh whereas eight percent was from civil now this was the work experience of this 2019-21 batch, uh, so 11% of them were uh, females, 89% were male, and uh, talking about the work experience, then only 3% had greater uh, experience than 360 months, 36 months, sorry, uh, wherein 52% of the batch were fresh, and now many of the students have this doubt that I'm fresh, or, you know, what exactly should, you know, should we just take work experience and then go to do MBA, but no, that's not the case. As you can see, the batch were having 52% of them were fresher and still got placed in very high amount so this was the domain wise highlight so for the it analytical the highest was 21 lakh per annum wherein the industry that visited uh was bpm accenture then tech mahindra hcl uh etc for finance the highest was 23 lakhs per annum uh where 
the companies that visited for finance related sector was ICICI Bank, then Tata Capital, Angel Broking, uh, Deloitte, etc. Wherein for marketing, the highest CTC was 20 lakh, uh, 29 lakh per annum, and the companies visited for the marketing sector were Tata, uh, L'Oreal, then Square Yards, Godrej, etc. And the role that offered in the marketing sector was sales development, relationship manager, key account manager, um, then customer acquisition, campaign manager, etc. Uh, the final uh, now, for the strategic and consulting, the highest CTC was 29 lakh, uh, 20 per annum. Then uh, the companies visited for strategic and consulting role was HDFC, Deloitte, Z is Associate, etc. And the role that they, the students got who were here for strategic and consulting was uh, financial consultant, leadership management consulting. Then, um, as we can see, product manager, project, product management. So for operations, we have uh, the highest CTC was 28 lakh per annum and the companies visited for operation role was Flipkart, ICICI, Just Dial, uh, Elastic Run, et cetera. And the role offered for the operation sector was um, procurement analyst, project product operation, senior project manager. Uh, this was some of the similar roles that we got for the operation sector. Then we have for general management. The highest CTC for general management was 29 lakh per annum. But in the company that visited was ICIC Bank, Xiaomi, then RBL Bank, uh, etc. And the role that they got was senior business development consultant, project manager, international business development, etc. For the human resource. Now, the human resource high CTC was 15 uh, lakh per annum and uh, the role offered were uh, HR analytics, um, HR advisory, then industrial relationship management and the companies visited for HR were uh, Viv3 Capital, Deloitte, Baijus, etc. So these are some of the companies that, um, you know, uh, was mentioned, visited in the campus. Uh, these are the recruitment partner who you know, do frequently visit the campus. So Yes Bank, Godrej, Lenovo, Lloyd, Zedis Associates, then uh, we have Tata Power, uh, by Jews. This is the placement team. This is the student placement coordinator. And this was the all overview about the I am Kashiwa placement reports for the batch 2019 20. Uh, that's all for this placement uh, report, you guys. Uh, so if you have any questions regarding it, you can just comment in below. Uh, if you have any questions or any suggestions or what you want for your next video, do let us know in the comment below. We would be happy to help. And uh, that's it. Thank you so much, guys. Have a good day.